With perfect weather and the largest field of cars in the event's six-year history, the name change to Sydney Jamboree seemed to work for the guys from Sport Compact Group. Looking through the pits saw a vast selection of cars across all ten fully filled categories. This meant that piston, rotor, turbo, NA, four, six and eight cylinder fans were kept nice and happy. Another thing keeping fans happy was the things to see and do off track. The latest and greatest products were on display from traders including Howtech, TurboSmart, PWR, Revolution Race Gear and GCG who debuted the new Borg Warner EFR series turbocharger. Oh, and we were there too. The show and shine provided some eye candy of the four wheel variety, while the babe and bikini comps provided some eye candy of the female variety. Our new motive girl Liz took out both the babe and bikini comp. Not bad, considering she's never entered any type of comp before. But we're sure it won't be her last. Well, that's enough of that, let's get back to the racing. The Gas Motorsport 289 field was split into two at this event with a dial in street group and a heads up pro group. Damien McKern is always a favourite in his RX3 and made it all the way to the finals, but came runner-up to Frank Canastra. In Pro Compact, Rodney's own RX3 may have been absent, but plenty of customers flew the flag for pack performance, including Jamil in his RX3, who ran consistent 760s all the way to the finals, which he won with a, you guessed it, a 760. Pro Turbo is the main attraction and the guys turned it up early when Joe Signorelli ran a 6.48 on his first qualifying run before Rod Harvey bedded it with a 6.46 and finally, pack performance ripped out a 6.63. Whew! The second round of qualifying saw the heat turned up even further, literally, when the pack performance Mazda 6 suffered a methanol fire. Luckily the crew and officials caught it early and the car was back out running six second passes like clockwork. Madman Sadek Sadek was all smiles at Sydney Jamboree, and for good reason. The crowd loved him for the wild show that he always puts on. Many people were hoping to see Sadek run his first six second pass, but it wasn't to be. But hey, a PB of 7-0 is still damn impressive. The McKern and Associates Pro Turbo certainly was an interesting affair. <laughs> Round one of the Chicago shootout saw Signorelli and Harvey both on by runs, giving them a win and Rahayam aborted his run to be defeated by Muhammad Ibrahim in the BMW, which suffered some damage in the deep end. After that, Muhammad switched his focus to putting on a good show in his RB30 powered Gemini, and that he did. <laughs> Round two matched up Harvey and Rahayam with a piston versus rotor battle, and this time around, the Aussies took the win with a 665 at 207 miles per hour. Rotors certainly aren't dead yet, and now both had a win each coming into the final round. The QSR BMW out meant that Signorelli then had another solo giving him two wins.
Coming into the third round, things were about to get interesting, as the track officials decided the fallen track temps meant there would be no final, and this round would decide the winner. And in the case of a tie for points, the fastest pass of this round would be the tiebreaker. Pack Performance had a bye run, giving them their second win, but they knew they would need a quick ET. They ripped out a 6.729, even with a failing top gear. Now, Harvey and Signorelli would face off. A gas win would see them take out the event, while a Harvey win would see a three-way tie with Pack Performance, and the fastest ET would then take out the event. Harvey took the win but was off his usual pace and the 6.730 was one one thousandth of a second slower than the Mazda 6, handing the event win to Pack Performance. The 2012 Sydney Jamboree will once again hit Sydney Dragway on the 31st of March. More info at jamboree.com.au